Good morning everyone. So it's Saturday the 28th of November. Today I woke up really early, um, not intentionally because Saturdays I like to stay a little bit longer in bed, but the postman came really early to bring me something that I'm super excited to show you. But before I get into that, I'm getting a lot of questions on my hair care routine, especially when my hair is curly. I literally just came out of the shower. Um, I'm hoping that my hair dries quick enough because my heating is on because I want to go and shoot some footage outside. Um, I want to take some pictures for Instagram. For the first time, I'm going to do it with my DSLR camera and uh, Sherry's daddy is going to help me, which is so nice of him. Um, it's also his birthday today. So I did say to him, if you don't want to do it today, because we planned it last week, we can do it another time. And he said, no, I want to spend my birthday with you guys so I'm perfectly fine taking pictures of you so thank you so much Curtis um so yeah I'm going to show you um my products the products that I use today um my hair came out really good of course it's still wet or still damp so I'm waiting for my hair to dry so I'm going to start with my shampoo which is this one right here by um, as I am and this is the long and Lux strengthening shampoo and I've been using this now I would say for the past couple of months and I really really love this range is absolutely amazing it really cleanses my hair and it doesn't strip my hair at all it leaves my hair feeling really really soft actually when I use it so I use the conditioner as well but today because I have so many products in my bathroom and because of lockdown I'm trying to use um, every product that I have before I go out and buy anything um, so any shampoo or any conditioner really work on my hair so for my daughter I tend to keep the good good stuff for her and I don't mind using other things not the one that I'm going to show you is not good but it's more for my hair than it is for hers so the the conditioner that I used today is this one by Shea Moisture and I really really love this. This is the restorative conditioner with the raw shea butter and I sometimes use this as a leave-in conditioner. It doesn't provide any hold but it provides a lot of slip. I love the scent and it does it does an amazing job on my hair so I really really love that now today I wanted to do a little treatment I tried to do it over the weekend so I decided to do it today and another product from Shea Moisture that I used is this one right here this is the fruit fusion coconut water weightless hair mask um, again really good product doesn't work all that well on my daughter's hair because this is more for fine to medium thickness type of hair so I use it on mine and it provides a lot of sleep as well which is something that i really really need now for styling products i used another product from as i am this leave-in conditioner right here so it's from the same line as the Lux. i think just the packaging is a little bit different um, again amazing amazing product that i use both on myself and on my daughter and i feel like her hair really really loves these products so, look at her water bottle <laughs> um this um her hair really likes these products they're very moisturizing they provide a lot of slip and that is what you need when you want to style your hair um another product that i'm using i'm doing the lock method so i'm using um the L is for leave-in, the C is for cream, and the O is for oil. But I don't use an oil, I use gel. So the cream that I'm using, again, it's from As I Am. This video is not sponsored, guys. But I love, love, love this cream. Let me see if I can show you how it looks inside. So it looks like this is like a creamy shade. This line smells so good. I mean, your hair will smell good for days. It's really, really good. It provides a lot of slip as well and a lot of definition. Um, sometimes I don't apply... Um, let me put my hair back. Ooh. Sometimes I don't apply gel, but now in the colder months, I need gel because I feel like the humidity or the dampness outside makes my curls expand. Um, so to lock all of that in or to seal it in, I used this one by Cantu and I really enjoyed applying this on my curls because it doesn't have a lot a lot of hold I feel like on my curls it actually provided a good amount of hold so those are the products that I'm using on my hair so those are the products that I'm currently using and now I'm going to share with you guys like I'm so 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 excited because 
I think it was over a week ago, I got an email from Laura Mercier's PR here in the UK. And I'm so excited because I've never ever been contacted by any high-end makeup brand before. I know a lot of YouTubers are. Um, in America, there's like systems, like affiliate systems that they can uh, I believe contact their PR uh, companies and get on the list here in the UK I think it's a little bit different like the circle is a little bit more tight so I don't personally think that Laura Mercier knows me but I feel like because my channel is growing a little bit maybe I'm getting a little bit more exposure which is super exciting so I wanted to share with you guys that they sent me a package which arrived this morning that's why I woke up so early and now I'm going to open this box and we're going to see together what's in it because I'm not entirely sure I remember there was a list of like um, that I could choose favorite products that I've used from them, uh, new products as well. So I honestly don't know what's inside this box, but I'm really excited because I do use Laura Mercier, um, their translucent setting powder. I absolutely love it and I've been using it since the beginning of this year. I think it's one of the best powders to set my makeup. It really extends the longevity of my makeup throughout the day. So let's open this package and see what's in here. super excited to see this box and the first product that I see is the Laura Mercier pure canvas primer which I've never tried before and it looks like this hope my camera focuses so I'm excited to try that one the next product is a lipstick and this one is in the shade coral so it looks like that the packaging i'm not sure if my camera's focusing so i apologize if it's not but i'm going to take this lipstick out oh i like the packaging it looks really really nice very luxe look at this beautiful shade look at that that is just a stunning stunning shade Maybe not for this time of year. I don't want to swatch it yet. It just looks so nice. So I'm not going to swatch it just as yet. Um, now I'm not going to put it in the packaging. The next product is a, what is this? A lip liner. And it's the long wear lip liner in the shade Baby. So packaging looks like that. Let's have a, a butcher's inside and see what's in here. Okay, so I feel like this lip liner will go with this lipstick, I think. Judging by it, I think so. I think they're going to go together. So I'm excited to really try these. Oof, so excited. Okay, so this product here is the Face Illuminator. Uh, for It's a powder. Okay, so it looks like that. Um, does it have... Oh, it's in the shade Addiction. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for a shade. I really like her packaging. It's so nice and luxurious. Very, ooh, look at this. That is a beautiful, let me see if I can get it closer so you guys can see, a beautiful shade. Is my camera even focusing? This camera sometimes, I'm really sorry guys, but I'm going to try and get you guys, there you go. Look how beautiful that looks. Yes, I love gold highlighters. I think they're the best. And this is the Perfect Cream Multitasking Moisturizer. I'm really happy that they sent me stuff that I actually don't have, sorry. I'm trying to focus, it's not focusing. Let me just open this one right here. This looks so nice. So it's the Laura Mercier, the Perfect Cream Multitasking Moisturizer. Um, and I believe it's a hydrating cream. Oh, this is so nice. And just recently I got a new moisturizer from Bobbi Brown. If I only knew, it has a very, mm, it has a lovely scent. So that's how it actually looks. 
So yeah, I'm really excited that I got things that I don't have so I can try them. Super excited. Thank you, Laura Mercier. Okay, so this is the first time ever I do an unboxing. It was a little bit long-winded and the angle was very awkward, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this little snippet of me opening this PR package. I'm so excited. I know I've said this so many times, but being on the PR list for a higher end brand, it's amazing because these products are expensive and if they can be sent to me and I can test them and maybe give you guys some feedback later, if you're interested, then you can purchase these items. But I'm not sponsored by Laura Mercier. This was a gift and I'm super, super grateful and humbled to have these products now in my collection. I will be trying them out and then I'll give you guys some feedback. But it's almost 10 o'clock. Um, what I'm going to do now is fix myself something to eat. Sherry's dad picked her up to play some football. Can you believe it's his birthday and he's just taking her out to play football? That's how committed we are. Um, I also wanted to take this moment to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for your love and support, your kind words, in my Q&A. Get to know me Q&A. I thought it went down so well. All of your comments and even more questions that you've asked me, I am taking note. And if you guys want to see a video of my story growing up in Portugal, which may include racism, discrimination, I have no problems whatsoever sharing that part of me with you guys. Um, of course, it's not going to be comparable to possibly what happens in America, but there's stories that I can tell you. And there's also a little bit more of my personal life that I can share with you guys as well. For example, photos, album photos, my mom, everything. So God bless her. She's not here anymore. But if you guys are interested in a video like that, uh, to know a little bit more about my life back in Portugal and why I also moved to Belgium when I was 20, please leave me a comment below with questions that you guys want to know on this video. But Right now, I'm going to get something to eat and then I'm going to get ready so I can go and take some nice pictures at Valentine's Park. So I just finished my breakfast and now I'm going to get dressed because I want to apply my makeup after I'm dressed so I don't mess things up. My hair is still not dry. It's possibly around 30% dry, which is going to drive me mad. I'll probably have to take these pictures with my hair a little bit damp, which is not really a good idea. May have to diffuse a little bit, which is something that I don't like to do. But my thought or my frame of mind today when it comes to styling i want to wear faux leather leggings boots and a roller neck i find that look very chic and i don't want it to be very very dark i want to have a little bit of pop of color so looking at my rail you guys already know i love neutrals but i want to wear something a little bit brighter so i thought i would go for this arquette um, cashmere sweater that looks like this. I think this is going to be really nice with my faux leather um, leggings. I also have the same top in navy blue. So I'm kind of like undecided between the two, but I wanted to add a little bit more color because I have a lot of neutrals on my Instagram feed. So I'm not entirely sure. And for coat, I want to wear this one from 
mango which i haven't worn it just as yet so i want to take some pictures with the coat and i want to take pictures without the coat so i want to make sure that things blend in together um, but i think they will hmm? let me try them on and then see how it goes so here you can see the faux leather leggings that I'm going to be wearing. These are my sock boots from Zara that I've had for quite some time. And I'm going to be wearing or styling it with my vintage Celine bag that I've been loving. I think this look is going to come really, really well together. So yeah, so this is the bottoms and my accessory for jewelry. I think I'm going to keep it a little bit simple as always. So let me get dressed. So it's the 1st of December and I'm getting ready to shoot a video. Um, I'm going to show you the subject that I'm going to be talking about in my video today. So I've done a video I think about four months ago on my Levi's rib cage. That video went down so well and I get so many questions and also a lot of thank yous for doing that video that I thought I would do an updated review and thoughts on the jeans. And the reason why I'm going to be doing that is because when I originally bought them, I mentioned in that video that um, the sizes can be a little bit different depending on the wash of the jeans. And at that time, I ordered the three pairs, a dark wash, a mid wash, and a very light wash. And I felt like the darker wash was very snug if I was going down to a size 28, whereas the other ones... I felt like the size 29 was a little bit too comfortable and I felt like the 28 could have fitted me a lot better. But because I buy my Levi's on promotion, I'll wait until they have my size. Um, and if they don't have my size, I don't buy them at full price. So I recently got a new pair that arrived yesterday. I actually bought two different styles. I bought another uh, rib cage jeans, this time in size 28. And I also bought the mile high, which at some point I will be doing a review. So here are my jeans, the dark wash right over here, this one and this one were the ones that were featured in my original video, which I've worn a ton. And the gray ones that I have right here are the new ones that I bought in size 28. So these ones are size 29 waist and these ones are size 28, along with the mile high, which I also bought in size 28. What I'm going to do now, because I need to wait for the sun to move a little bit, as you can see here on the back, the sun is just beaming and that washes me out over here. I'm fine. But then if I try to show you guys my trousers or whatever I'm wearing, it's going to wash me out. So what I'm going to do to kill time, one, I need to hoover my bedroom and the other one, I want to uh, put some nail polish on my nails and that's what I'm going to do. So I'll possibly start my video within the next hour or so.
Okay guys, so the try on portion of the video is done. I actually really enjoyed it because all I had to change was my jeans. Um, I'm going to get my daughter some food ready because she's going to go on her break very soon. My nails surprisingly did almost, almost dry before I started the try on. I damaged a couple of them, but you can't really see. Um, I think I damaged this one here in the middle a little bit and this one as well. But that is what happens when you don't allow your nails to completely dry. Um, so that is what I'm going to do today. Oh, before I go, let me just show you guys this gorgeous necklace that I have right here. I'll put the link of the brand below because I love it so much. Was I showing it inside out or backwards? So this is how it looks. It has a really nice little stone right there. It's a new necklace that I have linked below for you guys as well. I love it. Um, it has, I think it's 18 karat gold plated, but it looks really, really like really nice. Anyway, let me go and get this child some food ready and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the sitting room and I'm going to ask Sherry if she wants to put the Christmas tree up. It's the 1st of December and she's been asking for days. So I'm gonna go into the sitting room because she's watching some football and ask her. Sherry? Yeah. Should we put the Christmas tree up today? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Why? Because it's Christmas soon. It's Christmas. And we always do it around this time of the That's year. That's right. Yeah. So it's the 1st of December. She's been asking for days for me to um, put the Christmas tree out. And she's going to help me because she's being homeschooled. So today would be the perfect day to do it, isn't it? Yeah. So we're thinking about putting it here in this corner in the sitting room right behind the <laughs> door. But it's the only place only suitable place for me to put it because I've already moved my plants around. I have one here, well, a couple here on the floor, a baby monstera, which is not a baby anymore. And then I have a huge one on that unit over there. It's her sister. That's her sister. Yeah, that's the big sister. So we're going to get all the things out and we're going to get this tree up. Okay guys, so our Christmas tree is now up. You excited, Sherry? Yeah. What are you doing in that box? <laughs> she wants to be a Christmas present. Um, oh. I feel, 
I feel like we still want to add a few more things. So possibly tomorrow, Wednesday, which is my last day that I'm going to be home this week, which I'm free better saying. We're gonna to go to Wilco and probably get a little star or a little, did you say an elf? An elf to put up there? Yeah. Good morning everybody. So it's Saturday the 12th of December. I know a huge jump from my last footage which was the day that I put the tree up with Sherry. Um, but I've been really really busy. A lot of stuff going on um, in my personal life that is kind of like giving me a little bit of anxiety and stress. At some point I will be sharing what is going on. Nothing major but it's giving me stress. So um, today's Saturday, I have to work. Um, I'm going to get myself ready, put some makeup. I have a few things to do after work. So I'm working only for about four hours. My girl's picking me up. And then I have to go and do my Portuguese or my EU settlement. Because if you don't live in the UK, we're going through Brexit and the, um, it, is it expiring? No, the time, frame or the time limit that I have to ask for my settlement to stay here it's kind of like asking for a green card but I don't have to pay if that makes any sense um, I've been here for so many years and I'm working paying my taxes and everything so because I already live here it's a lot easier so I'm just going to go in person show proof of address income um, letter from my employer my Portuguese ID which I don't have a passport I just have my citizen card my passport I'm gonna do it in April because here in the UK it's very difficult to get an appointment you wait months to get your documents done so I'm just going to quickly put some makeup my hair has been straight for the past week um, yeah that was that is what I'm going to do today Sherry's just getting herself ready for football this lighting is not flattering at all I promise you I don't look this bad or I think I don't but yeah I'm going to get myself ready oh and before I even forget I lost some footage for my park you know when I went to the park to take pictures I'm really sorry I don't know what I did with the footage I took some pictures even with the same camera and I, I'll I'll probably have already inserted but I just wanted to explain as to why I didn't film or didn't show because I did film a little bit at the park but I lost the footage I don't know what happened um, I'm doing so many things at the same time that my brain is just going to a square but yeah let me get myself ready so I can go to the office <music> change of plans guys um, my girls stuck in traffic so I'm gonna go to work with Sherry's dad he's dropping me off and taking her as well is she here look over there <laughs> It's the 14th of December and I know I am looking a little bit crazy but for a very very good reason. I'm getting a lot of requests to do a straightening hair routine and a curly hair routine and I know in this vlog I've already mentioned the products that I use but today not only I'm going to show you the products that I use the tools that I use but also how I actually straighten my hair I changed a few things I used to um, take a really long time of straightening my hair but I found the best way not only to minimize the amount of heat that I'm applying on my hair but also the amount of time so it doesn't take me 
as long anymore it takes me maybe half of the time i have a lot of hair and my hair is quite long um, so what i tend to do now is i wash my hair a day before i want to straighten it so what i tend to do is apply my products and then i part my hair into four sections and i make a twist on each section and i just let my hair air dry the following day, if I'm in a rush, let's say for example, I wash my hair the day before at four o'clock, the following day at seven o'clock in the morning, my hair is about 95% dry, but there is like certain parts you can feel there is a little bit of dampness. So what I do, like quickly, I'm gonna go through all of these steps with you guys. It's so easy. I just find my life so much easier after I discovered a way to straighten my hair without too much heat. So let me sit down on a chair and show you everything that I do. Okay guys, so I hope that this angle is okay. Maybe I should get a tripod because my arm is seriously going to start hurting and um, I'll probably get my tripod. Let me just do that right now. Okay, guys, so I feel like this is so much better. I'm going to apologize already in advance. The sun is going in and out of the clouds, and I have a feeling I have to adjust my settings. I feel like it's a little bit too bright right now, so let's just put ooh, my chair. I'm going to fall. Let me put those settings down a little bit so you guys can see me properly. I think that is so much better. Okay, so I'm sitting down. I'm comfortable. So as I was saying, I'm going to be showing you the um, hair products and products. I'm going to show you the hair products and the tools that I use. And some of the products that I'm going to show you, including the tools, are on the pricier side. Um, just because I feel like these work really well. I think one of the products here is very affordable. It's one of the tools. But my hair care line is on the pricier side. But I love it. It's from Kerastase. I've spoken about this brand so much on my channel. And if you are familiar to my channel, you know that I love Kerastas. And those are, well, that is the brand that I always, always use every time I want to straighten my hair. Okay, so as mentioned, this lighting is going to be crazy today. And this is a vlog. It's going to be a little bit all over the place. So just bear with me, please, on that. So I'm going to start with my shampoo and conditioner or hair mask. I use these two by Kerastase. These are from the Genesis line. And this line is supposed to prevent breakage and um, hair falling out. Of course, if you lose hair, um, a lot of hair, and this is not going to help you, you may need to seek professional help, you know, by a doctor. But for me, it was just like, I started feeling that my hair was not falling out, but breaking a little bit more when I was using my natural hair products. I could feel when I was brushing that my hair was coming out a little bit more than usual. So I decided to try this line. I always skip conditioner because my hair needs something a little bit heavier. So I use the mask always, always, always. I've tried their conditioners from different lines and I don't like them. I don't think that they're moisturizing enough. And if you actually go onto um, any website that sells, um, Kerastase will tell you that if you have thicker hair, you need to use the mask. So I love this. It works really, really well. After I use that in the mask, I leave it about five minutes on my hair. You don't need to leave a lot longer. I find that Kerastase products, you don't need to leave so long on your hair because it can weigh your hair down. So I only leave it for about five minutes. And then I apply this tonic. I would call it a tonic, but it's a serum. It's um, anti-hair fall fortifying serum and I apply at least two of these pipettes and I only apply it on the crown of my hair because I feel like that's the area where my hair tends to break a little bit more and it's more coarse like the top part of my hair is a lot coarser than the bottom part so that's what I do and I massage it and I use it at least once to twice a month not more than that i don't feel like i need to and it doesn't leave any residue on my hair so it's a it's a really really good product i really like it and for heat protectant i have three products so i'm going to grab all of them the first one is also by the genesis line and the serum is also from the same line if i forgot to mention and they also have i want to say this because I have thicker hair, they have two formulas. They have a formula or a line 
within the same line for thicker hair and one for thinner hair. So if you are interested, make sure that you check the details because the one that I bought is for thicker, coarser hair or drier hair and then they have one for oily hair, and fine hair. Um, so I use this one, it's called the Defense Thermique. It's a spray leave-in conditioner and it really uh, gives a lot of slip. So if you don't like to apply a lot of products, then this one on its own works perfectly well. Because I want my hair to last a little bit longer, I also use this one right here from Kerastase. And this is the Keratin Thermic. It's from the Discipline line. I've done an entire review on this line and I'll link that below for you guys. I love this. It's almost finished, but I've had it um, in my collection, in my stash for over two years. Love, love, love this. And then the last product that I use is one of their serums. Uh, this one is the Elixir Ultime um, and it's the rose version. I'm not going to try and pronounce the French word because I know I'm going to butcher it. So I use this on each one of my sections. As I said, I have thick dry hair so the more protection I put in there the better it is these oils are not greasy at all and I apply it in each section as I said I part my hair into four and it works really well so I apply this before my hair dries and I apply a little bit after if I need to I've already straightened my hair this morning and I don't feel like I need to apply any oil um, if I quickly just tell you how I apply this one I apply it all over my head this one and then I brush my hair out. This one I apply it into each section, a pea size, like a, a really small amount onto each section. Here we go, the sun is hiding again behind the clouds but I hope you guys can still see me. And this one again I apply it into each section and then I brush my hair out. I feel like this vlog is mainly about my hair. Oops, sorry, somebody at the door. I just went to the door, I have a delivery from Amazon but I haven't ordered anything. I don't remember ordering anything. Did I order anything? It's quite heavy as well. Well, I'll open it in a second, it doesn't matter. Um, I wasn't expecting anybody to knock, so apologies for that. Now I'm gonna go through the tools that I use to um, straighten my hair. So as I mentioned, I try to air dry my hair as much as possible. And if my hair is completely air dry, I go straight into the straightener. I just brush my hair out and I straighten each section. But if my hair is a little bit damp, I use this tool right here, which is the Revlon One Step Dryer. And I love this. I bought this last year and this has literally saved my life when it comes to straightening my hair because it gives me a good blowout. I still need to, uh, it's full of hairs. I still need to use a straightener because as I said, my hair is very, very thick and dry and I feel like my hair looks nicer when I use the straightener after. But this has literally saved my life. So how I particularly use this now, instead of doing a, a wet to dry, I don't do that anymore. As I said, I want to minimize the amount of heat. So I go through each section and I just blow dry my hair straight for one or two minutes. That is it. If I need to use it on all of the sections, I don't think that this section is damp anymore, but I will use it so I can show you guys how I use it. I tend to just blow dry each section with this, but I'm literally just brushing it down. I'm stretching the hair and I'm brushing it down, but I only do it for a minute or two. That is it. So it takes me about five minutes to do my entire head or each section, and then I use the straightener right after. That's what I tend to do. So blow dry first, and then, sorry, I have to keep coming down over here. I use a steam pod by L'Oreal. I'm gonna show you the box first. This is how it looks. You probably have heard about this. And I've had my steam pod, or I've been using a steam pod for a little bit over three years. I started using it when I went on my gray hair journey and I wanted a straightener that wouldn't make my hair, uh, you know, brittle. And the steam pod, works with water. So it, this one is the 2.0. They have a new version, um, which the water container is already installed within the straightener, but I have 
the previous versions, which is the 2.0 and the new one is the 3.0. I love this little thing. Um, you put water in this container and then the steam comes out of here and it heats the plates with water and then you straighten your hair. It locks in moisture in your hair and I love it because I find that when I straighten my hair with this product, my ha my hair, <laughs> my hair lasts a lot longer straight than it would if I was just using a regular straightener. Please let me know if you have any secret with a regular straightener and your hair lasts longer and it doesn't frizz and you don't need to keep straightening every other day. So I can possibly have one to travel. This looks like a weapon, but I love this. I'll probably invest in the other one, the new one, when it's on promotion because it costs around 200 pounds. But you can get this now for maybe 150 and 120. Um, I think it, the other one is going to replace this one, but you can still find it available. So I'll try and link anything that I can below for you guys so you guys can try this out. <music> so this part is done what I'm going to do now is a star straightening so I put my pod on top of a box and I got my straightener here so when it lights up I hope you guys can see it means that it's switched on and I always leave my pod on the maximum heat which is 210 sorry my nose is so itchy today and you're going to start seeing some steam coming out of it don't be scared don't be alarmed I'm not burning my hair it's just steam from the water traveling from the pod to the straightener so I'm just going to wait for this to start steaming so I can start straightening my hair It, my hair is completely straight this is what I tend to do it took me literally I don't know maybe five minutes just to do this section so if you think about it I usually part my hair into four four not eight four <laughs> and it takes me about five to six minutes to do each section so that's about 20 minutes or a little bit over and then before I do that with my brush I only do a minute on each section so less than 30 minutes my hair is straight and it stays like this the entire week and to sleep I'm going to quickly show you what I use to sleep besides my silk pillowcase okay so to sleep as I mentioned I use a silk pillowcase but I also use a silk um, cap 
or hair cap this is from lily silk and i absolutely love this especially if i know the following day i don't have time to straighten my hair or to retouch anything because my hair does get frizzy in certain areas you know like the baby areas right over here it does get a little bit frizzy but I don't apply a lot of product in those areas because I don't want my hair to be too greasy close to my scalp. So maybe by the fourth day or fifth, I might just push them down or tame them down with some edge control. But for the most part, I don't do anything to them. So by using this, my hair the following day will be really shiny, silky smooth. And because I um, straighten my hair straight but I want my hair to have a little bit of texture when I put my hair in this I roll it outwards like this and then I put it inside the cap I do the same on the other side and in the morning I have a natural wave on my hair so that is how I achieve sometimes a little bit of texture on my hair without putting any heat so yeah that is how I straighten my hair now I hope you guys enjoy this little section now what I'm going to do is open that box from Amazon because I honestly I haven't ordered anything and I'm really curious to find out what it is okay guys. so I've already opened the box um, and I am going to take what's in here like I said I haven't ordered anything um, from what I can see it's a book and it says freedom mastery an extraordinary journey to creating a dream life and oh it's a law of attraction book where gift law of attraction a life and goal planner oh my god I, I don't I didn't I didn't order this this is so crazy this is like absolutely crazy but it looks really good um, let me check I think I know who sent me this okay I am very surprised very grateful and very emotional for having received this I know who sent me although the person hasn't replied yet but I know who sent me because I'm thinking over here conversations that I've had with my best friend who lives in DC she's like a sister to me and I've been talking to her about the law of attraction I've been really interested in the law of attraction I'm watching videos I skip the ones that are how I found the man of my dreams, how I found my husband, because that is not what my main focus is at the moment. Although I'm, I feel happy for these gorgeous ladies that found the man of their dreams in a short period of time. But that is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a home. And sorry, just had my a hair in my mouth. And I'm going to quickly just give you an explanation or or give you more clarity on what I'm trying to achieve here I live in this property for over no for almost three years it's going to be three years now in January this property belongs to my brother who was a godsend when he said you can stay here because I was living before when I was married or when we were together I was living in a two-bedroom property which was great my daughter was born there unfortunately the landlord fell ill and the daughters wanted the property back which is fine I was there for nine years and I didn't want to move because my daughter's school was just five minutes walk down the road and I I work in the area so it's not a big issue I don't live very far from where I was but I had to move out and at the time when I moved when I was asked to move out I tried searching for properties and London where I live is very expensive London is one of the most expensive cities in the world if you've never visited you probably heard about it and if you live here you can vouch for that in the comments below London is overcrowded and it's very very expensive and my salary alone no estate agent wants to rent me a property and three years ago I refused to apply for benefits I was like no I've always been independent I need to sort something out 
and I even contemplating leaving Por uh, Portugal, <laughs> leaving the UK, going back to Portugal. So again, the same situation is happening where I have to look for a new property. And before I even made the decision that I need to look for a new property, I started looking at videos of law of attraction, um, how the universe can grant you certain things. It doesn't mean necessarily that the universe is going to grant me a home, but I, although I'm not religious, I'm very spiritual. Like I believe in so many different things and I'm really sorry. I have to keep changing the settings of my camera because the sun is just beaming. So here I go again, trying to um, adjust this so you guys can see me properly. I'm not washed out. So very recently I've been really obsessing and thinking a lot of the law of attraction and I'm also thinking a lot what type of property I want, what do I need to do to achieve this without having to move too further out and change my daughter's life upside down. So I bought a journal. I actually have my own journal which is here where I put my thoughts into paper and my best friend, I know it was her, I know it's you Patricia who sent me this and I'm so excited to start using it. So one little story short, I, well not little cause I've been talking, I don't know how long. I've been a little bit under pressure. I've been a little bit down. Some days I cry. Uh, because I feel like it's out of my control unless I move completely out of the city Change my job well lose my job because at the moment who wants to lose their job? When COVID is around you don't know how long this this is this Pandemic better saying is going to stick around So the best thing for me to do is hold on to my job and try and find a way to rent another property I need a two-bedroom property not a one bedroom property for me and her because she's getting bigger, getting older. She needs her own space. So I'm putting my thoughts into paper. I'm planning as well. I'm really trying to think ahead. Um, and yeah, I, I guess that's why I wanted to like share this little um, thought with you guys. What is going on with Vilma? So if sometimes you may not see me very upbeat doing something, it's just because I have so many things on my mind and being a mom, being a single mom, although the father is very, very present, like Sherry's dad is so present in her life. I am single. I am doing everything by myself. So that is kind of like the stage that I'm at at the moment. I'm trying not to be too obsessed about the law of attraction. Um, I want to dream at the moment, not of my dream home because a dream home is when you buy something. I want to, to have my positive thoughts on the perfect home for me and Sherry for the time being for now. And I want something that it's long-term. I don't like moving all the time. I like sitting in one place for a long time, building some roots. And then if I need to move out at some point, hopefully the next property will be something that I'm going to buy myself. Um, but I'm, I'm looking for something. I have the vision of exactly what I want, um, how I want my property to look, the space that I want. It doesn't need to have a garden, but if it does, then fantastic because having a garden is perfect. But uh, I know exactly, I know the vision that I have and that is so important with the law of attraction that you vision, that you imagine and you can literally have the vision of being in that property. How are you going to decorate it? How how are you going to live and see yourself living there? That is my thought at the moment. I'm trying to be so positive that the universe is going to grant me this wish. Let me know in the comments below if you believe in the law of attraction, if you follow this as well, um, what steps did you take? What um, planning did you actually do? I find it so interesting. I watch videos sometimes that last one in two hours and I'm just sitting here on my bed and I'm like, whoa, I need to do all of that. That sounds pretty easy and that's a little bit uh, difficult. So I'm trying to be as positive as I can and, and just try and move forward.
Okay, so I'm going to have a good look through my new planner and I'm going to finish this vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying these vlogs, if you want to see more of me and Sherry and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.